What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, I'm at Idlewild Park Campground. And this place is beautiful. Check it out, all the trees. You're in a sea of trees up here. It's crazy. This place is nice because there's a shower and restroom right there. And uh, nobody's here, this is crazy. Uh, my friend Andrew recommended me this place and I can see why, it's awesome. He comes out here in his FJ and camps, or glamps, whatever you wanna call it. But uh, it's only $25 a night, so it's super cheap. There's 96 spots, and there's only six people that were staying here, something like that. So I had like 90 spots to choose from. I could choose. I could have chosen anywhere. I showed up day, you know, day of or whatever. But uh, this is my spot. I got up there. Let's see if you can see it. See the van up there? Let's get a better angle, maybe. There's the Westy. Look at her on all her glory pop top. Allie's right there to the right, making uh, some pancakes. But <clears throat> yeah, super nice campground. I think there's two hikes you can do on it, and it's about like a half a mile away from like the main little town or whatever. So you can go into town and get food and stuff. Last night we've only pulled in. We just popped over there and got some food, and it was really good actually, some burgers. We got some pastrami. I'll show you guys the trail I had to go up though. So this is, I don't know if you guys can tell how gnarly this is. This is sand, first off. Excuse my Adidas mandals. But uh, yeah, this is sand and it's all rutted. I don't know, you guys can't really tell on camera, but this thing is pretty gnarly. <laughs> and uh, the van again did it no problem. Good old Westy never, never fails me. So yeah, you can have fires here still. We talked to campground hosts, they were really cool. We gave her a number just in case any Anything happens, they can give us a call. But yeah, look how sketchy this dirt is. It's like really, it's just sand. And it made it up no problem. I was thinking, if one of my buddies gets a van, they could park at 29. Super dope spot. Next to us in 30, or vice versa, or whatever. My friend Adam and my friend Dave, right now are both considering getting vans, so. I really hope they both get vans, but if one of them gets a van, that'd be even more awesome to have two vans out here. This is a little bit off camber. So we had to throw some rocks under the tires and drive up on those yesterday. <laughs> I should really keep some two by fours in the van, but I just didn't think about it. But yeah, so we leveled it out. Nice, it's actually pretty level. Um, I'll show you inside the van really quick. It's really a mess. We have that uh, top, not top, but we have that front curtain that buttons on everything. Go Westy top with the removable sides and vent. Here's something I reupholstered myself. And here's the top, the, the top bed, but we usually just keep like food and supplies up there. Here's the bottom bed, it's a total mess. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Bring some chairs, there's also a table back there. There's a white table behind that food crate sitting on that chair. There's also a pad that you put down so you can walk on it like outside of your tent, or it's outside of your van so you don't bring in a bunch of dirt. Also a major tip is, Razor scooters, dude. Super easy to pack. You can put them like anywhere. Like, it's not like a bike. You just literally throw it in anywhere. And then you can mob around campsites or towns, whatever. But yeah, like Allie's over here making some food. Sure. Shake and pour. I think I said this before, but shake and pour is like key to going camping. Only well, like two bucks, too. Two bones. <laughs> so yeah, it's like two bucks and it's super easy to make because you just pour, add water. And obviously if you're going camping, you're bringing water. <laughs> but man, just take a look at that van. So stinking sweet. Love the Westy. I've had this thing for, I think, I think like four or five years now. It's in like the second vehicle I've owned the longest. And uh, we, I live about an hour and 45 minutes away from here. No problems all the way. We're at like, what, 5,000 feet elevation now or something like that? Yeah, yeah. And did great the whole way. A little water cooled 1.9 liter. Full stuff. Road. 
Also, if you guys are coming up to Idlewild, make sure you stop at Fullmore Lake. This place is absolutely gorgeous. The water you can't swim in, it's a uh, nasty water, but look at that reflection, dude. Yeah. So sick, so I definitely recommend stopping here. It's right off the highway, just take an extra 10 minutes or whatever, you can walk around it. We walked around it and there's like seating all along there and there's places you can barbecue and all that kind of good stuff, but that was my little, little review of um, Idlewild. In town, everything was closed pretty much on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays. I guess a lot of stuff closes. That's the days we're up here. So that was kind of a bummer, but on the weekends, I guess it's really popping off. But thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content or uh, nature content. I don't know. Thanks for watching. <laughs>